Hi guys, welcome to this session on Mail Merge and Power Automate. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Power Automate to set up a Mail Merge. So what I've got is an Excel spreadsheet with some data in it, which I want to use to send to my customers. So I've only got a few records in this spreadsheet, but you'll get the idea when you see it in a second. And this is the um, spreadsheet that I want to use. And this spreadsheet obviously will have all my details in it. I'll just bring it across so you can see it. So there's nothing too spectacular in here, just four records, same email so you can see the end product when I do this. And I'm just gonna give them a, an update email. So if I just close this down, this is called stock list. And basically you have to save this as a table. So I've called this, if I go to table design, I've called it stock, so I'll be able to refer to that when I get into Power Automate. It's just called stock. And if you don't know how to format a table, you basically need to just highlight the table. So say that was a table, and then you go format as a table. When you click on this, it asks you, does your table have headers? Yes, it does. And those would be the fields for your mail merge once you've ticked that. So that bit is really, really important. And whether you name it or not, it's totally up to you. Um, it will just say table one, table two, etc., etc. if you haven't named it. So I'll just cancel that off. So that is what I did on this one. Just went straight into there, format as a table, pick a different color. It's already been done, I've just changed the format there. Didn't ask me, but I did change the name from table one to stock. So that's what this is called, stock. Just save that and close this down. So that is the data I want to pull through into Power Automate. Now I'm on my Office 365 account and I want to get into Power Automate and it is not sitting down there. So I need to go into all apps and then you've got Power Automate here. I'll just open that. You've got these pre-populated opening screens with some template options that you can select from, but I'm gonna create one myself. So I'll go to create and then you've got some more options. And the one I want is triggered manually. So I'm gonna do it manually. I don't want it to be automated, but you could also set this up to do it on a set time, depending on what type of data you want to send. So I'm picking this one and I'm gonna give it a name. I'll just call it email stock list, for example. You can call it whatever you want. And then it's gonna be manually triggered that one and then I'm going to create it now it's asking me for the steps what are the steps of so the first step is I have to get that data so it's in an Excel spreadsheet and you can see I've got Excel already there but you've got some options down here um, I'm just going to click this one and then it gives you loads of op options that you can do with an Excel spreadsheet like get a row delete a row etc but I want all of the rows to be displayed so I'm picking on this one and then now what you've got here is location where is the file basically it's in my OneDrive, and whereabouts is it it's OneDrive, and the file is called stock list that one 2022 and the table is called stock so that's just getting the link to that Excel file. So that's where it is, that's the library it's in, and it's sitting there. So it just says OneDrive twice there because I saved that in the root of my OneDrive. I didn't put it in a folder as such, so it's just saying OneDrive, and that's, that's it. Now the next step is to connect that up to um, email, whichever email you've got. I'm gonna use Outlook, but if you type email in there, you should get different email options like Gmail, there, Office 365, that's one I want to use. Um, so let's go for that one. And then I want to send an email. That's what I want there, send an email. I'm not deleting an email, so I'm sending it. I click on that option and then you get this to. Who am I sending this to? And now this is where the dynamic content comes in, in um, Power Automate. So I've already got the table with an email address in. So if I go there, that's the field that's got an email address in. So it's going to be to email, whatever email is in your table. So if you didn't name your table and tick the option for column headings are, or the header rows are your column headings, 
you wouldn't have that option popping up there so you need to make sure you do that in Excel now you've got that so this is the subject area for your email so what I'll put there is I'll just call it product status spell it right status that can be a title subject you can put some dynamic content these are your fields from your table if I just come down a little bit these are all the column headings you can put any of these in there if you want now the body of the message is basically whatever you want to say to these people so hi I'm going to say hi then I want some dynamic content which is this list here name so that's going to say hi Steve Saxton whatever and then your and then I'm going to go for item that's another bit of dynamic content is over due the price is and then you go for another dynamic dynamic content down here price please pay now and then you can finish it off with your normal signature block you don't need and if you don't if you decide um, you don't want things in you can just cancel them off so I said I didn't want that and I can just change this I'll get so it's just your item is overdue that's all you say now and then I'll just go regards Steve and then at the bottom you've got show advanced options where you can do put from your you can put your name in there that's going to come up anyhow carbon copy blank carbon copy you can fill those in any attachments you might want to send you can send those as well so I'll just hide that that's all I want to do for this little example so what you have to do now is you have to save this and then it's good it's a good practice to check the flow because if you haven't logged in already it will ask you to log in to make sure you can access this this Excel file so you've got here flow checker I'll just click on that it says there's no errors which is always a good thing to see so now just save it again and then I need to go back and run it so I'm clicking on this little back arrow and it gives you all the information about this flow that you've just done time and everything and then it's across the top there if you need to change something you can go back into it and you can do that anytime uh, delete it if you don't want it but this is what I want to do here I want to run this it's got your connections there look it's saying permissions there so I'm gonna have to say okay for that if I run and it's asking me there look continue and then run so now that should send those emails to the people it's saying it's done what I now need to do is just have a quick look in Outlook to see if that has actually tipped up so if I just open up Outlook you can see there there's four emails there they all are and if I go back to Power Automate you can run that as many times as you want so that is just a very quick look at how you can use Power Automate to set up an automatic email it could just be a mail merge for marketing purposes you want to offer people uh, a new discount or something or in this case you're just giving them a, an account update but whichever way you're doing it power automate in this example was manual so I do need to run it the other one I showed you earlier on or the option you could have scheduled that to run or uh, every 30 days or something like that but hopefully that was of use for you thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one